Hello everybody, this is G Million up in this bitch. In this video, I will be talking about my Switch to PC gaming. Awesome, not really, but awesome. But first, I want to make an announcement. I am going to be heavily active in my Discord server. A lot more than Twitter, but I'm still going to be part of other server communities like um, the fellow detractor communities, but mainly in my server. The server link is down below. We're going to have some fun stuff to do. We're going to have game night, movie nights, game streams. I could do 1080p 60 video uh, streaming. I ripped my entire Blu-ray uh, collection. So there is going to be tons and tons of content. I have over 100 Blu-rays that I ripped over the years. So guess what? We have a bunch of stuff to watch. All right, back to the video. Now, the reason why I wanted to make the switch to PC gaming, uh, mainly because I can already see the, the current generation consoles kind of lacking in performance wise. You have a couple games that are only 30 FPS, this year and they were pretty much only on next generation consoles so I don't like that and another reason is because my PC is very very powerful and you guys probably want to want you probably guys wondering what kind of PC do I have here well I'll tell you the basic specs of the PC all right Intel Core i7 1370 DK, is that how you said? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, KF, I mean, the one without, I don't know, both of them have the integrated graphics. One of them is not as powerful, the, the KF is not as powerful as the K, but it's more budget friendly. 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, so I'm not going to have an issue running Returnal. Graphics card, the NVIDIA RTX 3080 non-TI. It's my graphics card that came with my other computer that had the fried processor. And I ended up buying this computer and rebuilding that other computer. That other computer has better thermals, but cheaper, uh, less, um, less efficient. CPU. Don't really like the Ryzen um, processors, especially the AM4 processor. I don't like the AM4 platform. Let's we'll just put it that way. And we're going to keep it at that. So I am in the middle of a challenge here. This is my first week of doing it. I started on the 23rd and it's already the 29th because I'm recording this on the 39th. So Pretty much what I did was I threw away all my consoles for 30 days and I am only playing on PC. Great. Problem solved. Easy as peasy, right? Well, there are some pros and cons to this adventure. I Con one. Let's just say my biggest thing is I've been a console player all my life. So since I was about... 10 years old or so, I was playing on my Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and all that fun stuff. And the years and years I dabbled into PC gaming, but it wasn't my main thing. So, so I went back to consoles and it wasn't until the eighth generation where I was playing PC a little bit more and used my last generation consoles to play some of my exclusives and JRPGs and mainly Call of Duty. Let's just say I, I did not play a lot of games during the eighth generation consoles cycle. It was a shorter time back in the, back in the day. And when the PlayStation 5 and the Series X came out, it, it seemed to be more promising, but I don't think they are gonna last long during, you know, when it comes to performance, so that's why I want to make a jump to PC. I did not have the gracious jump like other people did 
when coming to switching to PC, um, I miss, I'm already missing a lot of my console games. Like, I want to finish up Pokemon. I beat the main story of Pokemon, but I want to go back and catch all the legendaries and stuff. But I can't hook up my console, so... But I, I, I did beat the majority of the console games that I did. Another big issue that I'm having right now is how the hell am I going to watch my 4K Blu-ray collection? Because apparently there is a block on 4K movies being played on PCs now because the MPA is saying, oh, you cannot play movies on newer, on newer processors and you need a certain, certain thing on old Intel chips called the Software Guard, whatever, the SGX. I don't remember the full name, but you need that requirement to play 4K movies, but that's on older processors. And the 12th gen and the 13th gen and most of the 11th gen doesn't have those um, that, that, um, that software SGX thing. So I can't even play those movies on my computer. So how the hell am I supposed to watch 4k movies? So I ended up having to buy a four ray player, but another issue that I'm having is my 4k monitor that says HDR is not actually HDR. It's HDRI. And if I play a movie on my computer monitor, it's not true HDR. So that's another big issue. So I can't play 4K movies on my PC. I can only play Blu-ray Blu movies on my PC. I guess that's better than nothing. Those are the main cons that I've been having right now, but the the pros definitely outweigh the cons. The, the video games that I'm playing look so much better than than consoles. Like I'm playing Call of Duty right now. It looks so much better than it does on the PS5. Other games I tested seem to run really good. Um, I don't do side-by-side -side comparisons, but it's all good. Um, streaming, doing one, one PC setup streaming seems to work okay. I could stream in 4K, 120 hertz. I lose some frames by streaming, but it's fine. As long as I get at least 60 hertz while streaming, I am good. As long as I have the game on borderless full screen, I can quickly mess around with my stream while having the game up. So I thought that would be much of a bigger issue than, than it actually is. I'm actually having a great time doing this. I don't know if I'm going to keep my consoles unhooked. I'm definitely going to hook up at least one of my consoles and just use it as exclusive. So I'm still going to use my stream to my Steam Deck because it's considered a portable PC. So I, I promised I'd made videos about that, about the Stream Deck, and I still will. I don't know why I'm being so fucking lazy and not doing it, but I will do it eventually. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and listening or whatever it is you're doing. I don't care if you're watching while you're taking a shit. That's up to you. Um, please give the video a like, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Are you guys playing on the PC or sticking to your consoles? I don't really care whatever platform you play on. Whatever preferred platform you play on is fine. I'm not here to be part of the PC Master Race or a console peasant. It's whatever you guys want to play on. It's up to you and whatever you guys could afford. Peace, my homies and enjoy my discord i want to see you guys there naked